Today's service person is Doug Alcorn for a service in Lebanon and Granada. Good morning, Chesting High School. This is your student announcements for Thursday, October 30th, 2014. Hi, I'm Kendra. And I'm Casey. And there are no birthdays today. Applications for the Mason Scholarship have arrived. This is one of the most significant local scholarships awarded. Last year, two seniors were awarded $1,000 each. Any senior is eligible to apply. You do not need to be affiliated with the Masonic Lodge. The application deadline is February 14, 2015. See Mrs. Marks for an application. Competitive cheer tryouts will be held on Monday, November 10th from 5.30 to 7.30. Tuesday, November 11th from 3.30 to 5.30. Parents meeting at 6 p.m. Wednesday, November 12th from 5.30 until whenever done. First practice will be on Thursday, November. Attention Cena Book Club members, please stop by the Media Center to pick up a t-shirt order form. Congratulations to Madison Krupp for qualifying for the Cross Country State Finals this past Saturday. State Finals will be held on Saturday, November 1st. Good luck, Maddie! Attention National Honor Society members. Our next NHS meeting will be held on Tuesday, November 4th at 7.15 a.m. in room 403. Attendance is mandatory. Community service opportunities for this Christmas season will be discussed. Please see Ms. Pierce if you have any questions. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> the next Key Club meeting will be Monday, November 3rd at 6.30 in room 208. New members are always welcome. Reminder, after school tutoring has begun. If you would like to sign up for tutoring after school, please see Mrs. Marks for a list of which teachers are available on which days. Remember, if you are failing a class, you will need to see Mrs. Marks to schedule a time after school. College application week is next week, November 3rd through the 7th. Seniors take advantage of many colleges waiving their applications and apply for free. There will be goodies for all those who apply and take a chance to vote for the most creative decorated teacher's door. Even if you already applied to where you want to go, you can take advantage of this week and apply for a backup school. <coughs> See Ms. Mark if you have any questions. Have you seen the pumpkin carving contest for FFA? No, Casey, I have not. Well, they got a clip on it. You want to watch it? Oh, great. Let's see. Let's go. Carrie, congratulations on first place. Thank you. This magnificent pumpkin. So, what was your inspiration behind this pumpkin? I just went to Google and typed in up chucking pumpkins. Congratulations on second place. Thank you. Uh, what was your inspiration behind this pumpkin? YouTube. I was looking up cool pumpkin designs and this is the person that popped up. Uh, you knew you had to make it at that moment. Yep. Yawn. Third place pumpkin. So, what was your inspiration behind making this fearsome pumpkin? Cherry Collage. Mmm, goodies! Mm. Speaking of goodies, the food drive to benefit the local care center will run through Thursday, October 30th. All non perishable food items will be collected during your second hour class. Monetary donations are accepted and will be counted as $1 equals one item. No ramen noodles, please. All second hour classes who meet the goal of an average of four items per person will be able to attend the Fear Factor Activity Period Assembly on Halloween. 
The class that brings the most food per person will be rewarded with a quesadilla lunch on Monday, November 3rd, and the second place class will be given a cider and donut hole on Monday, November 3rd. If the second hour class does not meet the goal of four items per person, you will stay in your class during the Halloween assembly. Don't miss out on the fun and bring in food donations. How is your class doing? Uh, we're like 54 behind right now. We have zero. What? Hopefully we do better though. Bring those canes in. Gotcha. Halloween. There will be a costume dress up day for all students and staff on Halloween. Costumes must be school appropriate and may not involve masks or weapons. Hmm. So not like Casey. Any student dressed in a costume will be able to volunteer to play the Fear Factor games at the activity period, as long as your class meets the food drive goal. A costume contest will be held between the first and second place food drive winning classes as part of the assembly. Show your school and Halloween spirit for dressing up. The following colleges have scheduled visits. If you are a junior or senior and would like to meet up with them, sign up outside Miss Mark's store. U of M Flint, November 4th at 10. FSU on November 10th at 8.30. U of M Dearborn, November 19th at 12.45. At MU on November 20th at 10. You know what's in that kitchen today? No, I do not. Well, today we got the pizza stromboli. Mmm. That bacon Swiss burger. Mm. Pretzel roll. Mm. And that potato coins and pears. Mmm. 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 Mm. Hey, Ken. <laughs> What's wrong, David? <laughs> Why are you running? It's coming. What's coming? It's All right, gone. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> are you gonna come up for me? Do <laughs> anything? <laughs> 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 <laughs>